guys. So today I'm going to be showing you how to download Audacity for Windows. Uh, it's really easy. So go to Google and type in A-U-D-A-C-I-T-Y. Um, and then the first link should be audacityteam.org. So just make sure you're going to that website to download it. Um, when you get here, the first thing that you'll probably notice is this giant download button here at the bottom. But uh, if you go up, you can choose between Windows and Mac. And we're going to choose Windows for this. So the first link here is Audacity 2.2.1. Now, if you're doing this sometime in the future, then the versions might be different, but uh, your link should still be uh, the same there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and download this. Um, you can put it wherever you need to. And then once it finishes downloading, go ahead and click it to run it. Uh, and this will pop up and just go ahead and click run. Now on Windows, uh, OBS can't record this next screen, so it's probably gonna go black, yeah. but. Uh, it's essentially just asking you, are you sure you want to or to trust Audacity? You're just going to hit OK, and then this will pop up. Uh, choose your language and hit OK again. And then go ahead and click Next, and then Next again, and then Next to finally start installing it. Uh, now it's going to give me this error message because I've already installed it. I already have Audacity, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway because I could use the next update. So hit Next and Install. And now this part can take up to a few minutes uh, and it looks like absolutely nothing is happening, but I promise it is working in the background. Uh, so don't hit that cancel. Go ahead and uh, wait for it. But I'm gonna skip ahead until mine starts uh, working. And here we go. So the screen bar is gonna go forward now. I have this sped up just a little bit. Uh, so it's probably gonna be a lot slower for you guys. Um, but for the sake of the video, I went ahead and sped it up, but it doesn't take too long. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit next again and finally hit finish and then you'll see the audacity logo will pop up and then go away and you'll be like well what happened but if you go down to the bottom here you should see the icon in your tray and you can open up the program so there you go uh you can go ahead and hit record or um import a music track or do whatever it is you need to do so yeah uh, have a good day and thanks for watching